Hi guys, so welcome back to another video. In today's video, I wanted to use one of my most favorite MAC foundations since I've been on my MAC kick lately and this was the look I was able to achieve. So if you want to see how I got this look, the product I use and what I feel about this foundation, then make sure you keep on watching. But first, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the bell notification button so you're notified when I post new videos because I post daily and you don't want to miss it. Then I'm out of here. Bye guys. Today for primer, I'm going to use my NYX Blur and my MAC Studio Fix um, Mattifying Shine Control Primer. So let's do the NYX first. Happy Monday. Today is Monday. We back at it again. <laughs> Today I think I'm going to use one of my favorite MAC uh, foundations since I've been on my MAC kick lately. And I looked over, I'm like, well, why not use it? Haven't really picked it up in a minute, but I really love it. So that's what we're doing today. And if you want to know, I cleaned up my under eye with this Danessa Myrick Nude 7 Color Fix. So that's what I base my legs with and that's what I cleaned up my eyebrows with. So I can give it kind of like that natural, not so much sculpted eye look. Back that in. And make sure it's dry. Put the, sun, put the primers back. I think I'm going to stop keeping my primers in this little beauty bag I got down here. Uh, for foundation, it's going to be the MAC Studio Fix Everywhere All Over Face Pen in the shade NC50. I have loved this. This came out last year, and I don't think not a lot of people talk about it. Oh, I love this. It's You don't have to use a lot. You can spot the seal like it says because it's a pen. You make sure you just close the top, though. Or you lock the top so you know, don't be coming out. Spot the seal, you can use it all over. Light coverage, medium coverage, full coverage, you can make it what you want. I'm just using my concealer brush so I don't have to use my fingers today. Today is not a finger day. Well, for me, finger days is never a finger day. <laughs> That's why I won't be like a good makeup artist because I can't stand product on my hand. Like, I don't like the feeling. I'm quite sure I can get over it with time, but when it's been this many years, I'm this many old, and I still can't, I still don't enjoy it. Spray with some of my, I gotta pick one of these up this weekend. Bear with me. This is another matte foundation that I didn't have to wonder what shade I was. Like NC50, it's NC50 across the board with matte. Not unless you want to be something else. Unless you're looking for like a, a different kind of undertone than what you normally use. So far, any new releases, any old releases, any reformulated releases, it's been NC50 for me. And y'all see, it's looking like skin. So I'm not mad at it at all. And I use, and you can't really say pumps, like my equivalent to probably like one and a half. I'm just trying to get everything off with the thing. 
and I have NC47 in this one that I used to highlight with. I have no idea where it is right now, but damn, there it go. Hold on, y'all. <coughs> Excuse me. I need a little more cough. That's because the weather has been so crazy. It's been like really cold at night and 80 degrees in the daytime. So, yeah, I see it though. NC47 to highlight with. All right, while that's marinating, let's take the palette that has been sitting on my desk. I have another one similar to this, but it has more bright shades. I got to find it. Hold on, because I was going to use the Julia's Minis palette. This is a good transition palette if you are looking for one. I'm going to take these two shades, and that's going to be my transition color. They're in the market. And plus, y'all know I like mini palettes because... They don't take up a lot of room or don't like have you trying to really guess what can I what shadows do I mix together you know when you have a really big palette it can be kind of overwhelming especially for beginners because you have so many colors and you're like well what goes where or what should I put on my lid what should I put in my crease what should I put in my transition area because I have so many shades to pick from. But when you have like a small condensed palette, you know, your choices are limited. So you kind of, well, for me, it makes it easier. And between those two shades, I'm use, probably using like the orange, kind of dark orange shade the most. But I mix it here and there. Go ahead and put it in the outer V also. Okay, let's go ahead and blend this concealer, not concealer, foundation, or it can be called concealer, put it on you. I like it because it's weightless. It's not, you know, I love full coverage foundations that don't feel full coverage on the skin. Okay, you don't have to set this if you don't want to feel like it sets itself. Get your brush. Not these edges. You don't need your face to look like a puzzle where you can see what connects to where. You know what I mean? So, yeah. All right. Now, for the lid shade, I've been wearing a gold shade out. I'm wearing a yellow top today. So, the gold shade, that's what it's going to be. <laughs> the gold shade, because I already know I'm wearing a yellow top. So, it's an Amber Lights. That's an old MAC eyeshadow. On Sundays, I have to make sure I 
put my clothes out the night before, I mean, on Sunday, on Monday, and I'm just going to pop it in the middle part, low, don't go too far up in the crease, because otherwise on Monday morning, I'm going to be scrambling. Yep, keep it low. Then go back with your transition color. Put that out of V. All right, let me throw on some liner. I'll be right back. All right, let's get ready to contour with the Rich Cocoa from e.l.f. I know I do my lips first. Yes, whatever. I put this on my lips. Contour on my lips. Very lightly. Yeah. Using the wrong side of his mirror. <laughs> I'm using the up close part. <laughs> Is that girl back up? And probably concentrate from here to here. Don't bring it all the way down. I got these lashes from Shop Miss A in the style. Show y'all. Chichu? Yeah. So that's what I'm going to use today. This is my first time trying some Shop Miss A lashes. They already got the glue on them. And let's see. Fingers crossed. Where are my tweezers? It should be. Right where I need them to be. All right, let's see. Yeah, I know I'm so used to my um, Amazon lashes that I'll be so afraid to try new ones because I don't really want, I don't like the big lashes. I like them small and wispy. And these are only a dollar. Don't shop and say. I think we okay. We all right. Yeah, I think we okay. What y'all think? We all right? Yeah, I think we okay. All right. Sasha Buttercup to set this concealer. I'm going to use a brush. I use, use my brush. 
and I'm using my Sephora Micro Smear, but I don't think I ever really used it for the Sasha Buttercup. That'll be good. Black Radiance Press Powder, Black Coffee, Contour, Set the Contour. And Elf Bronzer in Sun Soap as a blush. I'm not going to set all over the face. Like I said, this foundation does its own thing. You don't have to set it. It's in place. It's not moving. It's not going nowhere. It's good to go. So, yeah. It's not that you have to go out of your way to set. Just make sure everything is blended. I'm going to take some of this Vintage by Beauty Bay Lip Liner. I know where my pencil sharpeners are now, y'all. Yep, some of this about face eyeliner in equestrian with the lower lash line. I prefer brown over black any day. Yep, yep. And let's just be simple. Take some of this MAC and Boy Bait. Saw it on my desk. <laughs> Boy Bait, another beautiful, beautiful lip product from MAC. If you're looking for the perfect nude shade, as you can, <laughs> as you can see, this is it this is so it let me take my this one blend out that transition i usually try to do circular when i'm when i call myself trying to blow it out and that's it y'all we got a full face and that was real quick spray with my nyx bear with me And I'll get dressed, and y'all know the drill. I'll be back. All right, guys, we are back with the completed Monday type look using my favorite, or one of my favorite, MAC foundations. And this is the completed look. I love it. It still has a little luminosity to it. It's not like your average MAC foundation where it's kind of... Uh, 
matte, very matte. You know, this has a little luminosity to it, which I love. And I just think it's easy and simple. And then when you're traveling, if you're traveling, it's not as big as a big bottle of foundation. Like it's a pen, you could drop it in your purse, drop it in a small makeup bag and be good to go. But yeah, this is the completed look. And I'm out of here. Talk to y'all later. Bye, guys. Drop down and let me know if you enjoyed the video. And I'm out of here. Bye. <laughs>